Hello, one and all, and welcome back to Dwarfcraft. This is Anvil Dude. And first things first in today's episode, I want to shift this. Now, I thought initially that I was going to have to move, like, everything. But I realized these guys... They have a, like, 16 block range. It's, what, a 16 blocks around their home location. Which means that since I only need, like, five or six blocks, I should be able to just have him walk. And that should be plenty of distance. So that's what, one, two, three, four, five, six. If I set it up right here, that should be plenty. Should be, I hope, to give that enough suction to pull it back. I mean, we'll find out. But I certainly do hope so. Can put those there. Have this guy here. And connect these back up. There shouldn't be an issue there. I can put my candle back down, use my wand, disconnect those, put back this Potentia Void Jar, and put in the coal, so hopefully, that's not the one that I wanted, hmm. Well, I guess we'll swap sides, then. In this case. Actually, I wonder, can I? Nope, can't do it with that. Have to use a vial. So, you know what I'm going to do? is I'll let this do its thing. Uh, I'll put down a jar of Ignis just to empty that out. I think that that's actually being pulled. That's good. So, seven. If it goes below seven, then that means it's being pulled to one of these. Is that not working? That might not be working. Mm. Okay, well, I guess I need to double check on my suction again. I might need it to go further. This should work! I don't know why it doesn't. 21. 21. Zero untyped. What? Oh, that's a problem. Maybe that's the reason that it's having issues. Okay. Okay, sweet. Now it's working. Yeah, so that is the correct distance. Alright, I want to... Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to actually do this upright and use proper jar labels to tell it which way to do that, because I prefer having that on that side right underneath. I think it looks nicer. Okay, there we go. Now, what's neat about this is that these glass files actually don't get used up when I do this. So I can be all like, Ignis label, 
and I still have that Ignis there. And I can be all like, Potentia label. And I still have that Potentia there. So I can just put that right back. In there. Put my files back away. Pick this up again. Uh, don't actually need that now. So I don't know what I'm going to do there. I guess I just have some spare Ignis. Oh, I can just put it back here. My Ignis section. Okay. Cool. But now I can specifically tell those Alembics what I want them to have inside. That has Potentia in it. That's not what I want. Ah, hmm. uh, Potentia. Void Jar. Let's connect you up. And you'll drain out. I got too much Potentia. <laughs> what? Why are you... What? Why did you stop draining? Why is there Ignis Essentia in there? Okay, you know what? Go away, Ignis Essentia. There. Okay. I specifically want this to be Ignis. There we go. I specifically want you to be unconnected to that. And you're empty. Good. And I specifically want you to be Potentia. Good. And are these guys going to start drawing now? It'll take a second because there's... It's suction and it actually travels through each of these. But this isn't working. Hmm. 64, 64, 64. Zero untyped. What? Why is there no suction here? Is there another thing of... What the heck? I'm going to need to have these all... Oh, nope, okay, that, that did it. For whatever reason... Okay, is this working correct then? I think it might be. Sweet. As long as these don't... Why is it untyped suction? I wonder... I guess as long as these aren't actually actively sucking things, that's how that happens. Okay, yeah, that's how that's going. So, this should be full of nothing but Ignis, and these should open anytime any of the Ignis is used, and shut anytime it is not being used. Sweet! So that should keep those nice and full. I could probably technically get away with this without having these jars, but this is a nice handy way of setting up this system. Besides, I enjoy overcomplicating things. Hmm. Okay, I'm just going to break you and replace you. Why is the stupid... What? 
I don't get it. Why is you still there? Eh? What? No, not you. This. Okay. Empty golem animation core attached to the workbench. Instruct it to only take the item you want to craft. Okay, so this golem right now is marked. Can I clear the markings? Quick question, Golemancy. Okay. Right click to select. Glowing gear like circle will appear indicating the golem's home location and the side it is attached to. Right click anywhere in the world to link the golem to blocks, locations, or inventories. Yeah, yeah. Or cycle through different colors if the golem is able to interact with different colored markers. Shift right clicking. Okay. Pressing F will clear all marked locations. F? No, I think that I have to have him. F. F. There we go. and specifically take that out. And... Correct! Okay, sweet. And we've got backstock. I'm going to need to deal with that somehow, some way, someday. I mean, at the very worst, I can stick a greedy chest next to here and have it take half of the, uh, half of the coal out. Is he just going to be walking back and forth the whole time? Okay. Okay, cool. And now I am going to... Cask of Amontillado this guy in. So that he has his little path. And nothing else. Alright, but I can still see him, so that's good. This is full... This is full. He's working away. That's full. Full, 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 full. It's working. Sweet. Not the prettiest of systems, but it's working, and I am happy about that. That's awesome. Okay. Well, that is pretty much finished right now. I'm going to probably end up doing stuff with the coal later on because there's going to be excess of that. I don't use these quite near enough for there not to be. Now I'm going to go off camera and do a bit more... Wow, there was really a lot of backlog. It wasn't there. There was a lot of backlog. Okay, I'm going to go off camera, clear out some of this backlog, and keep working with the stone. I'll be right back. Oh, I just noticed. I have 100% Earth Affinity now. I th think that means that I am locked into the Earth Affinity effects and that it won't decrease? I don't know. That might not be what it means. But that's pretty neat. I may be very much more armored now than I otherwise would be or something. I don't know. But yeah, that's pretty fun. I'm really saddened that Ars Magica doesn't allow for the type of spell customization that I want to do. Because I'd love to make, say, like, a beam spell. And really, there's just one, one feature missing, right? 
Because I'd love to be able to make a beam spell where as long as I'm holding it, I'm shooting out a beam, does damage, slows, whatever the heck it's going to be doing. But that while I have that beam up, I'm also defended with a personal shield. Like, you know, a uh, certain purple-haired Russian in a popular modern video game. Regardless, I'd love it if I could do that. But as far as I can tell, there is no way to have two targets for a spell. As much as there's like four shape keys, or four potential shape key areas, each of those shape keys does not correspond to a different type of effect. It's just four places to put extra shape keys, such as extra damage or extra range or something like that. So you can make a really damaging spell, but it's just, I don't know, it's not as intriguing as I was hoping it could be. I wonder if I can... I mean, there's shallows here. I wonder if I could make a bay. Like, or a, a channel, a deep... Ooh, there's an idea for a project, yeah. Okay, I think I know what I'm going to do with the waterfront. Because there will be a waterfront. And now it's going to be like an actual waterfront. And it'll be amazing because of it. That's pretty cool. Okay. Meh. You can just hang out down there. Boop. Okay, that is for another day, though. Ha. Ha ha. Yeah, that's going to be for another day. I, I'm going to want to uh, write that down, though. Otherwise, I may forget it. still need to... Yep, that was used up. I don't have any more stone. But, that made me think. I do have earth seeds someplace around here. Hmm? That was my caps lock button, not the one that I wanted. I do have earth seeds somewhere around here. And those I could potentially use... Uh, where's my bows? Um, yeah, that's right. I want to keep these uh, separate so that they I can get the volatilis off of them because that's a relatively rare aspect. Okay. But yeah, I have earth seeds somewhere around here. At least I should. I don't think that I have any around here. Seeds, regular earth seeds. Elemental earth seeds. Good. And I have diamond seeds. I might as well plant those since I have the large diamond area. And there is a way to make... Alright, the industrial hemp for uh, that. But there is a way to make... Cobblestone, and potentially even just stone. I'm not sure about that one, though. Out of... This. That is just dirt. That is that. That's cobblestone. Yep, okay. So, essence of fire and essence of earth makes cobblestone. What if I had another one of these? Nope, just fire and earth. Okay. And that is a small enough recipe that it can be taught to golems on a golemancy bench. This, I think, will end up being my second floor up here. Possibly with another... You know, honestly, I don't need to have more... Jeez! Experience! I don't think that I need to have more Infernal Furnaces. These guys are going to more than keep up with three bellows per and the constant ignis aspect underneath and it might be a good way to use all that coal that i'm making 
so I think I'll just keep on having a doing a, a stack system so th so that any extra layered stuffs just kind of you know falls through into these four guys nice heavy furnaces yeah that's a good idea but yeah cuz I need stone I know I mine stone but I need more of it and so being able to just make cobblestone would be fantastic not this one this one this is the place that has my fire crops so I need to get enough fire seeds and enough earth seeds that I can set these guys up and have it half and half 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19. Do, 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 do. Okay. And so that means that it's like this. And that should be an exact half and half, which, since I need 50% of each, then that should be good. Stick my diamond seeds in the diamond area. Where is that? Is that across here? Yeah, these are my diamond seeds, I think. Yep. There we go. One of these days, I'm going to have this whole farm going, and I'm just going to have resources coming in everywhere, and I'm not going to know what to do with them all. It's going to be glorious. But, yeah, with these guys... Okay. I might as well get the infrastructure set up before having the full because this is coal this is copper do I want to have my do I want to have more copper I may want to have more copper I might as well activate these guys and close this down but regardless oh right I don't necessarily want to do that because then I'd have it going into here and I don't have this connected up yet okay well, eventually. This is a hungry chest. This is a hungry chest that's dropping. Yeah, okay. Anyways. I honestly could probably just be using hoppers for a lot of this stuff. I have enough iron. First off, I need a way up there. Something that works with the theme. Honestly, I like the stone, uh, what are they called, the stone climby things, the stone ladders. So I think that I'm going to get more stone and do that as a thing. But where to get more stone right now? Just make some, I suppose? go. Put you away. Now, does this stone... Can I make the stone tool rods out of the... Yes, I can. Cool. There we go. Yay. I wonder, can I make stone, like, fences? That way? First off, how do you make regular fences? Is it just sticks, like I imagine it is? It used to be just sticks. Now I think there's... It's like planks in the center or something. Well, that's gates. I don't want gates. How do you make regular fences? I have no idea how regular fences are built anymore. Wow. Um, what? <laughs> what? Wap. 
<laughs> okay. Well, that's interesting. Um... Okay, yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> Anyways, let's put this stuff away because I will need carpenter stuff. But this, I think that I'll just have a ladder going up. Maybe over here? Maybe further back, like here. Yeah, I think for now, I'm just going to set up a ladder going straight up here. No, that's not going to work. I forgot that I had those there. Okay, up the side then. Yay! And this is to here, which goes down to there, so I can end up using my Arcane Levitator as an item elevator if need be. Okay. Yeah, and I'll just be setting up another Golem workstation up here. Alright. Let me get that stuff together, and I'll be right back. Well, I've got my Golems. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a bit of work to get this to to go right because I mean I've got to have my golem that does the actual crafting I've got to have a golem that gets items and puts them in his crafting bench which is going to be a ways away which could be an issue and then of course I also need a golem down here to help sort things out of here up to there, which I'm thinking I'll end up needing to finally do the uh, the transport over to here. Uh, I just realized that's not centered. Huh. That's interesting. But yeah, so I'm making a couple of straw golems. Um, got a stone golem. Got some other straw golems and stuff going on. And so they'll just carry things. I'll need one to carry from here, which will have the... Uh, what is it? It'll have the basic... Essences. Essences? You know what I'm talking about. Like the earth and the fire. I'll have those guys take from here bring it over here. I might even do a specific thing with uh, a greedy chest, actually. I like, I like greedy chests. They tend to work pretty well, I think. Have a greedy chest to take from here. Have a golem take from the greedy chest. Come over here and put stuff in to an item grate here. That'll take... And I'll use an arcane levitator down there. The item grate and arcane levitator will take stuff up here, where I can have something else. I think there's grates of some sort that'll let me pop stuff up, but won't let things fall down. And then I'll have a golem have to grab those, bring them over here, put them in the workbench. And then I'll have to have the golem make the stuff, drop them in here, and that should drop all the way through into... this Infernal Furnace, I think. Either that one or this one. Where it'll end up in here. And that'll be nice. But, that'll have to happen next episode, because this episode we're pretty much out of time. So, until next time, this is Bananville Dude. I hope you've enjoyed. Have a nice day.